Hello and welcome back to Lisa's Little Critters. Today I'm doing two buildings uh, before Thanksgiving that I figured everybody will have to visit, the bakery and the grocery market. So the critters are getting ready for Thanksgiving too. Mrs. Kangaroo, as you see, she is visiting the bakery with her baby. She wants to get some kind of special pie that she can uh, put on her Thanksgiving table. Now, this building is a little woodsy building, and you may recognize it, except that normally it is bright pink. And I hand-painted the inside. I actually taped off a lot of the details and spray-painted the whole thing in a light tan. And then I went back and I added all the details. You see the wallpaper border and the door. I made the little sign, Apple Blossom Bakery, and then I painted the details on around the building. Over here we have a display shelf that has donuts and croissants and bagels and pies. And this is part of a Barbie display shelf. I didn't like the one that came with this bakery. I did get this bakery on eBay with all of the accessories, but that's the only thing that I really didn't like and didn't use. Now coming around, we have his work table and he has a little wedding cake or birthday cake back there and bread on the bottom. And he's busy always making something in his bowl, it looks like bread dough is rising. He's got cookies and muffins in the oven. And once again, I painted the fireplace and some of the details because, let's see if I can get more into the light. And uh, on the little things that were molded into the plastic, quite a bit of it was molded in. Now, here is my proprietor of the bakery. I'm gonna put him front and center for a minute because he is my favorite creature that I have, the, my most favorite critter. Uh, I was lucky to get him on eBay. He has the gripping hands, so I'm thinking he's Flare Edition. His name is Christopher Apple Blossom, and he came with the Watermill Bakery, which of course I do not have, but I just love his bushy tail, and I made him a little apron which is what the original one had on it, and he's he's just precious to me, and I had to make his building very special, his little shop, because he's a special baker. Now, I'm going to go around. Remember that this building was bright pink, and I have painted it, like I said, the tan, and then added the details, which were embossed in the plastic, I went back and painted them so that they would stand out because they're beautiful. Across the front, the bakery sign the same way, and the awning. And then on this side, there is a little window and apples and a little wagon. And you couldn't see any of these details. So that kind of bugs me and I wanted to fix it. And I think overall it came out quite nicely and I'm just in love with it. Now just a few minutes ago, you're not gonna be able to eat out of this bakery because a few minutes ago I went to move it and dumped the entire bakery on the floor. So I've been picking up bagels and donuts and everything else off the floor. So I hope that gives you a good laugh. Now I'm gonna to try to move it once again very carefully this time because I want to share with you the building that I keep next door to my Apple Blossom Bakery. Just bear with me for one second. There we go. Now, I don't want to do the same thing with this one. This is my Apple Blossom Market, and you can see I will turn it because it is the Calico Critter Supermarket. Um, looks like my little sticker here is coming down. I'm gonna to have to work on that. I was uh, able to get this building intact. It had the built-in display cases, but nothing else. 
and I got it on eBay. It was uh, not very expensive, so I was able to get it. And of course, I made it Apple Blossom Market because I have uh, little Jane, who is also a gray squirrel, and she runs the grocery market. And she also has a little daughter. These two came in the, uh, I think it was a ballet recital set. It came with a piano and the mother and the little girl. They were not, as I understand it, sold as a complete family set. The little girl's name is Justina. She's the little sister. And I do not have the gray squirrel baby. That's Julie. But um, I was just so thrilled to get these. Now I'm going to put them over to the side. And I think if you watch my other video, I talked about that I got the cash register and the supermarket um, display, the food corner. And I was going to put it in that other little shop and it, it just overwhelmed that little shop. So I was uh, there was no way I was going to put it in there. But once again, this shop was pretty much empty, so I had to pretty much embellish. I put the bread and the donuts. I made donuts out of the oven-baked clay. Little Mrs. Guinea Pig here, she's already shopping. She has a little uh, cart that came from a brand, you know, those mini brands. That's what it's called. The little cans are just straws with labels that you get from supermarket ads. Be sure to think out of the box and, and look at what you have. Um, the grapes, I love them. And those are just those tiny little styrofoam bead flowers that I painted green and purple. The bottle crates came out of uh, a truck that I found at the Goodwill. I made these bottles. Um, let me turn it just a little bit. Maybe you can see these. There we go. The two liter bottles I made by putting a label up inside. I had plastic pipettes from something and by cutting them off they made perfect two liter bottles. Now my grocery uh, freezer section or refrigerated section was empty so I had to kind of uh, make some different things. The milk bottle was there, but I made the eggs and again the cans and so forth. And then over here, I don't know, I think you can just see it that I had to make some fish and I made something that's supposed to look like shrimp and I put some bananas up here. The awning also did not come with this set and I kind of matched the colors because I had to put my own uh, here, that little, what do you call it, like a wallpaper border, I guess, I had to put stickers in there, so I kind of matched that with the awning, and that's about it, that is my supermarket, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you have a lovely Thanksgiving. I'm going to try to post my next video right at Thanksgiving, or maybe the day after, and I will see you soon. Please, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and you will be able to watch more of my videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.